This is Eagle News, Washington, D.C. I am Liza Gonzalez, Manglik Mod. Think nachos, pizza, tamales, and chimichanga. Now imagine those in strawberry flavor. You might think it could be just a product of the imagination. Well, think again. Eva and Alan Basilahe with Jezreel De La Torre take us to this year's Strawberry Festival in Oxnard, California, where everything strawberry awaits. Would you believe there are such things as strawberry nachos? Nope. What about strawberry pizza? Mm mm. Strawberry popcorn? Doesn't exist. Oh, but they do. And you can find them here at the 35th Annual Strawberry Festival in Oxnard, California. Right. Next, you'll tell me they also have strawberry chimichangas, too. Do you mean chimichangas? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I said. Celebrating all things strawberry, this festival is a jam-packed two-day event wherein over 60,000 guests are expected to consume an anticipated 1.5 million strawberries. Wow, that's a lot of strawberry seeds to get stuck between your teeth. Our strawberry nachos, it is a bunuelo chip. The bunuelos are covered in cinnamon and sugar. Um, there is a strawberry topping, whipped cream, uh, some crumbs on top, and it's topped off the strawberry. Uh, the guests, when they taste the strawberry nachos, uh, they are delighted by the flavor. They are surprised because when they think of nachos, they have a whole different uh, idea of what a nacho might be. But when they see the strawberry nacho, it is a dessert dish, which is sweet, and it has a very pleasant taste to the palate. Uh, well, it's a strawberry pizza, and so what we do is we take pizza dough and we fry it up, and then we put on some uh, cream cheese marshmallow topping, and then we put on some fresh strawberries with some powdered sugar, some cinnamon sugar, uh, some caramel, whipped cream, and chocolate. We do this as a fundraiser for Pacific Camps. So we're a nonprofit uh, Christian child care agency here in the county, uh, and we use this to help uh, for our operating budgets and scholarships and just be able to help out families in the, in the county. The, well, we have a strawberry chimichanga. The strawberry chimichanga is a mixture of strawberries, uh, sour cream, and cream cheese mixed together inside a flour tortilla, which is deep fried, and then rolled in cinnamon and sugar, and then drizzled with uh, strawberry syrup and whipped cream and some more strawberries to go on top. Well, we are a nonprofit organization for a local soccer club here in Oxnard and a lot of what we do is to try to get the girls to go to the next level in school so we need the money to pay for soccer tournaments, uniforms and other equipment that we need to try to make them uh, a little better in soccer and hopefully get them to the next level. We have our strawberry kebab which is consisted of strawberries with marshmallows drizzled in chocolate syrup. Well we are the Oxnard Panthers and our actual location is it's here in the south of Oxnard so it's right in our backyard uh, no better way to support our organization than within our local community. This isn't your first time here is it? Mm, no no I've been going here for about 10-15 years. And what, what keeps you uh, coming back what's the appeal? My appeal is the food the strawberry nachos, the strawberry pizza, strawberry this, strawberry tacos, the strawberry tamales I mean, it's, it's, it's good. I mean, who doesn't like strawberry, right? Is this your first time at the festival? No. Uh, what keeps you coming back? It's really fun and they have a lot of great things here. Now, if you get your fill of strawberries and really couldn't take another bite, not to worry. There's plenty of non-strawberry themed food all over the festival grounds. I think mostly for me, it's the um, lobster fries. Lobster garlic fries, actually, so those were really tasty. The funnel cake. I love the strawberry funnel cake. So far, so good. I like it. It's pretty crowded. A lot of people, I didn't expect it to be so full, but it's really family-oriented, so I really enjoy that aspect of it. I thought I'd reached my strawberry limit for the day. That is until we discovered the Otter Pops Beach Bungalow, where a pop tender lets you sample four flavors of Otter Pops, like strawberry shortcook. So I guess one more slurp couldn't hurt. Otter Pops actually started in 1970 and started right here in Southern California and is a part of most of our childhoods. And what's exciting now is that as we are all getting to see it come back to life in so many new ways, uh, we as parents and this generation is getting to share it with their kids as well. And so all the new memories and stories that came along with Otter Pops for us are now being shared with the new generation. Just uh, this summer, Otter Pops launched four new flavors, 
And there are two very exciting things. The new flavors are all actually part of a all coconut water line, which is delicious. But most importantly, the new flavors come with four new characters, three of whom are female. And not only are they female, but they're pretty rockin' female characters. And so now the entire cast of Otter Pops characters, all ten, uh, represent a complete gender balance. And so we have five male and five female characters. We're spreading the world of girl power, but really gender equality throughout. Strawberry Short Cook is one of the originals. She's what we would call old school. And uh, here at the Strawberry Festival, she is our hostess with the mostess and has been enjoying her day in the sun here. <laughs> well, that's all the reporting our stomachs have room for. On behalf of Jess and Allen, I'm Eva for Eagle News, and we are One with 25. That is today's Eagle News Washington, D.C. Join us tomorrow for the weekend edition. Visit our websites at eaglenews.ph and eaglenewslive.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash eaglenewsph. Thank you for watching. I am Eliza Gonzalez, Manuel Mott, always one with 25.